Basal cell carcinoma is a very frequent disease. We see more and more patients, and with the aging of population, it's not rare we see patients with very advanced disease near the eye, for example, near the, uh, the mouth or the nose where we can hardly operate them. So up to now, we are very uh, uh, limited in our treatment. Radiotherapy uh, can help in some patients, but uh, uh, some patients, especially also if they have metastatic disease, uh, we have nothing to offer them. The chemotherapy that are available right now are not very efficient, so having new options to treat the patients is, is extremely interesting for us uh, in our practice. Challenges we have uh, are all uh, basal cell carcinoma patients who have uh, a complication. So in terms of uh, relapse, of uh, location close to the, eye, to the eye, for example, in the face, uh, we have problems uh, with infiltration in, 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 in the bone, for example. And um, if radiation is not available, which is the standard of care as a, a first option in these patients, then actually we don't have so many treatment options for these patients, and that's uh, a great need already. So the, the impact that uh, Sunnycate shock uh, inhibitors will have uh, on, the, on the treatment of our patient will probably be a uh, a major impact uh, as, uh, of course, most basal cell carcinoma can be treated by surgery. But when they're locally advanced or metastatic, uh, as I said earlier, there's really no standard treatment. So we have now a strategy that can be used as a first-line treatment, and uh, that's going to be a, a big chance. The problem which is going to appear with this type of drug is uh, what can we do if there's a complete remission of the tumor? Can we stop the drug? or do we have to go on and continue with the drug, otherwise the tumor will reappear? If there is residual tumor, can we um, do residual surgery on what's left, or do we have to continue the drug and not do the surgery? Uh, we have a number of questions uh, like that, and especially uh, also uh, whether these patients can be uh, put on a non-enough regimen of the drug so they don't have the side effect for, two, uh, for a very long-term use, uh, and, and they can be off the drug sometimes to uh, benefit from it without uh, having too much uh, side effects. Current challenges in treatment, in treatment of uh, patients with advanced basal cell carcinoma relate to both those with locally advanced as well as those with metastatic basal cell carcinoma. Some of these patients do not respond to uh, standard therapies, including surgery and radiation, which is basically the definition of the advanced uh, basal cell carcinoma. When treating these patients, uh, one has um, to consider numerous factors. Surgery may not be able to remove the entire tumor. Those patients will be considered truly inoperable. Or surgery may have already been attempted and has failed on two or more occasions, making further surgery unlikely to be effective. Similarly, uh, radiation therapy uh, has uh, often in these patients been used and patients have redeveloped disease despite radiation therapy. In these cases, there's a need for new treatment options and uh, hedgehog pathway inhibition does seem to present a new option for these patients which have failed standard, treatments, standard uh, treatment options.